We'll be meeting Bronson every Wednesday night, right after the Kraft Music Hall. Who's Bronson? He's a young, sensitive adventurer who motorcycles across America in search of a meaningful life. Yeah, I wish I was you. Our star is one of today's most gifted young actors. Look, let me give you the bottom line, Mr. Bronson. I'm sick of putting up with you. From now on, you're going to come in here every day on time. In short, Mr. Bronson, you are going to look and act like everyone else who works in this office. Is that clear? So when I say jump, you jump, because if you don't, you're going to find yourself on the street so fast you'll think the building has collapsed. He's a guy who touches upon the lives of many people. And yet, essentially, Bronson will always be a loner. This could just be the beginning. Beginning of what? All-out war. I request permission to go after him. I cannot allow you to do this. Jeff, you're not actually going after this guy, are you? You are a poem. I just I'm sorry. Outnumbered, outgunned. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I only know what I can do. The ship's dead, sir. She's gone. No, she's not. Stop to this. Never mind, Mr. Spark. Doesn't make much sense to me either. Take us back to where we're supposed to be, Mr. Sulu. Warp factor one. Warp factor one. Yeah. Crumpet Spur. It's Saturday night dead. This isn't gonna hurt, is it? I told you, Herman. I've done it a hundred times to you before, and it never bothered you. You're just nervous because I ran out of anesthetic. <laughs> now that's what I call a body. <laughs> they sure knew how to put them together in the old country. Yo ho! I'm home! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to be late, dear, but I got in a little argument with the client down at the parlor over money. Oh, what was the trouble? He thought our carrying charges were too high. That's ridiculous, dear. Well, your prices are very reasonable. As it is, you go into the hole three or four times a week. <laughs> oh, 
how was your day, dear? Oh, about as usual, no. except for Eddie. What's wrong with him? Well, he came home from school and ran and hid in the den. 